Hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 10th through the 16th. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising Signs. Okay, such an interesting spread, Taurus. We, we have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So the Ten of Wands, for some Taurians, you might have a lot on your plate. Um, the good news is tens represent cycles that are completing. So this is just a temporary energy. But for some Taurians this week, you just simply might have a lot going on. You might be spread a little bit too thin. So just take caution with that. For some Taurians, you might need to, to ask for help. Uh, there could be some Taurians that you're working, you're overworking yourself, you're working every day, or maybe you're working two jobs. Interesting enough, the overall energy Taurus for the week is the King of Pentacles. So for some Taurians, you know, you're very, very focused on your finances, you're focused on maybe your financial security, your stability. Um, so that could be why we have the Ten of Wands here, because maybe there are some Taurians that you're trying to achieve, um you know, some sort of financial success or security. So maybe, you know, you're working two jobs or working every day. Uh, very, very focused on your finances. Um, uh, for other Torians, of course, you know, this, this is you maybe very practical, grounded, down to earth. You do have a very, very interesting spread. We're starting out with a Three of Swords and then the Five of Wands. So the Three of Swords can be, for some of you, a difficult situation, maybe dealing with three people. And I say that because you have two threes in this spread. So for some Torians, maybe there's a difficult situation involving three people. It could be a love triangle, but you know, not necessarily. For some of you, I feel like this is this is something going on within the workplace. Um, with the five of wands, this can be competition, jealousy within the workplace. Um, I see some Torians maybe having to defend themselves. And with the Three of Swords, you know, it can, of course, represent heartache, pain, sadness, loss, but it's also mental frustration, disappointment. So with the Five of Wands here, uh, there could be some Taurians that you're butting heads with someone, you're not seeing eye to eye. You could also be dealing with a lot of competition. In particular, maybe there's a situation involving two other people or maybe three people and there's some sort of challenges that you're dealing with with the five of wands also could be jealousy within the workplace for some of you you're having to defend yourself with the seven of wands here you know and what i'm really getting for for some of you is there was something that maybe transpired within the workplace if not the workplace this could be a family matter and, you know, since this has gone down, you know, for some Taurians, you're, you're feeling a little lonely. So for some of you, maybe this has already happened. And then for other Taurians, this could definitely be happening this week. You might be experiencing this energy. Um, but for a very small number of you, I feel like you, you might have already dealt with this. Because we have this Four of Cups here. And I feel like for some of you, because we have the Four of Cups and the Hermit here, I feel like, you know, for some Taurians, now you feel isolated. Now you're kind of all alone. So maybe for some Taurians, this is an ongoing situation. This is something that could have been ongoing. Dealing with some, you know, challenging energies or situation. With the Four of Cups here, now maybe... Feeling a little bit lonely, a little bit isolated, emotionally, I'm not getting like emotionally down in the dumps. I'm not getting anything like that. 
I think this Three of Swords here is more mental frustration and disappointment because of these challenging energies that you've been dealing with. But also for some of you, I, I feel very strongly this is a situation involving three people. With the Seven of Wands, this is what I call that warrior spirit. So yes, it can be you really defending yourself, defending what it is that you want, but also this is someone who's quite passionate, very strong, very courageous. You know, it is a little bit more of a stubborn en energy. This person is not willing to back down. So for some of you, you're dealing with maybe this competition or, you know, these difficult energies, but you're hanging in there, you're persevering, you're, you're not ready to back down, and you're certainly going to defend yourself. But with that being said, for some of you, you know, you also maybe feel a little lonesome or isolated. The good news is, now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, the good news is there's going to be improvement because we do have the star here. So this is all minor arcana stuff, Taurus. And then we have this major arcana energy that's coming through and it's very powerful so that you know, however you relate to these more challenging, difficult energies, Taurus, you are overcoming them. This is a very powerful healing energy that's coming through for you. So you need to keep the faith, you need to remain hopeful, and you need to remain optimistic. There is going to be healing that's coming through for you. So if this is challenges within the workplace... Are you feeling all alone? Um, this could even be a family situation or a relationship, a romantic relationship. Um, you are going to heal. You are going to move past this. Now you have a couple of sevens here. So the number seven could be very significant for you. You also have uh, a couple of threes here. So the number three could be very significant for you. Um, the star does represent the sign of Aquarius. The hermit represents the sign of Virgo. So there could be some Taurians that, you know, you know, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius and a Virgo. That could be the situation involving three people. For some of you, you might be a little bit more emotional. So just take caution with that. See things for what they really are. Um, with the King of Pentacles, I think the majority of you are. You need to stay grounded. So especially if you're feeling alone or isolated, with the Seven of Cups here, this can be someone who's not seeing things realistically. Um, yeah, just try to stay out of your head. Definitely stay grounded here. You need to get grounded. For some of you, um, this is a very dreamy, illusionary sort of energy. You know, you might even find yourself daydreaming a lot this week, fantasizing about someone or something. But also, you know, the Seven of Cups represents other options on the table. So there could be some Taurians that you are looking at other options, especially if this is a work situation that maybe you don't want to deal with anymore. Uh, but some of you are going to get practical. And for some of you, you're maybe going to look elsewhere. Uh, you do have other options on the table. Yeah, and for some of you, this is you maybe taking some sort of action here with the Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. You might be spending some time alone this week, Taurus, to go within and, and to figure things out. Uh, you also could be speaking to someone with the Hermit. This can be any anyone from an attorney to an, a father, a grandfather. Uh, you, there could be some Taurians that you're seeking some sort of advice or counsel or just simply going within and really listening to your intuition. For some of you, you are looking at other options and you're going to really start to work towards maybe making some changes here. Um, and this is you very optimistic. I feel more towards the end of the week. Things are definitely going to turn around for you. With the Three of Wands, you know, this is growth, this is expansion, this is progress. So again, for many of you, you know, you're dealing with some sort of difficult situation. You're moving past that. Things are progressing. You are healing. The situation itself, I feel like, is healing. Uh, it's not going to be weighing on you as much here, Taurus, with the Ten of Wands here. This is something that you are overcoming. 
it is a very interesting spread I gotta say you know I've said that for many of the other signs uh, the energies are just really interesting this week um, but overall I don't see it being a bad week I think that for many of you there's a situation involving three people this is I do feel like for many of you going on within the workplace um, for other Torians of course this could be a relationship matter it could also be a family matter but I do see healing that's coming in and I do see some other Torians um, I do see you looking elsewhere for some of you all right so let me pull you an additional guidance card financially I think it's going to be a great week for you all right additional guidance for Taurus what else does Taurus need to know please show me don't add fuel to any fires with the five of wands here um yeah just you know if I do know that some of you are going to be defending yourself. You feel the need to defend yourself, which, you know, I'm not going to tell you not to do that. Um, if you feel like you're in the right, then of course, by all means, defend yourself, Taurus. But, um, you know, with this energy, just take caution. Um, watch your communication, but just take caution with this energy. Um, if someone is trying to push your buttons, you know, your best bet would be just to walk away. Okay? Uh, so things can heal. And for some of you, you're going to do that. You're going to maybe go off and spend some time alone. Now, the additional guidance card that just flipped over for you, uh, and I think this resonates very much, Taurus. We have Astara. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. This couldn't, have, this couldn't resonate more, Taurus. The Seven of Wands here. You know, this is a person who's not going to compromise. They're not going to back down. Uh, and then you have the Astara card. So uh, just hang in there, Taurus. You do deserve the best. So reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise, okay? And don't lose faith. Stay positive, okay, Taurus? So I do hope that you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.